Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. A lot of you are really new to my channel so I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Megan. I am a 20 year old mum to my baby girl Lilith who is 7 months and I also have type 1 diabetes. So getting on with this video, today I wanted to film a CGM comparison video. Um, I don't really know how I'm going to film this. Um, I've never filmed anything like this for my channel but I have type 1 diabetes as I've mentioned and um, CGM is something that's really important to me and I think it's such a breakthrough in the diabetes world to be able to monitor your bloods all the time anyway. So in case you haven't already clicked, CGM stands for Continuous Glucose Monitoring and there are so many devices out on the market now to actually do this. Um, so today I want to be reviewing and comparing the Enlight Medtronic Guardian Sensor and the Libra Sensor. I've made a few points, I've written them down so I will be looking down obviously. I am a keen and avid user of the Guardian Sensor by Medtronic just because it works inside with my pump and I personally prefer it. That basically bites the nail on the head. I've already said which one I've there are some good points to the Libra sensor that has actually made me consider going back to it several times but in the end I always stick to what I've got. So one of my first points is the Libra sensor is really thin and it's not too bulky on your body. I find the Guardian sensor sticks out a lot more and the Libra sensor is it's like the size of a two pence it's like having a two pence stuck to your body whereas the guardian sensor is a bit bulkier than that i can't really think of anything to show you i'll give you a close-up of it it's a bit bulkier than a libra sensor that's my first good point that a libra is much easier to wear my second point comes inside with this first point that i've made and that the libra sensor can be worn on your arm the guardian sensor is advised to be worn on your stomach and the libra on your arm and me personally, I think it's much more nicer to have something on your arm than it is on your belly. You cannot wear tight clothing, you have to be very careful with clothing as well um, for the Guardian sensor, making sure it doesn't catch and pull stuff out because if it gets pulled out then obviously it stops working and you have to reinsert the whole thing again. My third point, I can't remember exactly how long but I know the Libra sensor stays on your body and reads for a lot longer than the Guardian sensor does. The Guardian sensor only works for six days. Um, and I'm sure the Libra can do up to like 10 days, I think. I can't remember exactly, maybe it's even two weeks. My mum has a Libra sensor, I have a Guardian sensor, and in the time she does the one change, I've done two, going on to my third change. My fourth point is the Guardian sensor connects to your pump and it's constantly monitoring your blood sugars. Um, and all you have to do to calibrate it is prick your fingers twice, um, so every 12 hours, so that's twice in 24 hours, which I think is really good. You can always see your bloods, it's always accessible, like I could just pick up my pump now and I'll be able to see what my bloods are. And I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly with the Libra, you have to scan your arm just to know what your bloods are. Which isn't a massive inconvenience, but I think my Medtronic sensor works a lot easier for me. It's a much more convenient for me as well. So my fifth point is that the Guardian prevents hypos with an auto shut off. You tweak all your target ranges and when you get a Guardian sensor your healthcare provider will advise and sit down with you to work out all of these um, all of these things. So my pump starts to alert me when I get to like five that my bloods are dropping, they're approaching the limit, the cutoff line and then once they approach that line my pump just shuts off all insulin delivery which I think is an amazing feature with the Medtronic sensor. My sixth point is the light sensor actually produces a graph for you to see at all times so you can go on your pump and see a 24 hour graph line of what your bloods have done, you can see where your spikes are, where your drops are and then you can fine tweak it and it's really good in getting a really good blood like range um, really quickly see where all your mistakes are you can see maybe where more insulin or less insulin or if I remember correctly I never connected my Libra to anything where I could see this and I just love how it's all in a little graph and you can actually truly see what's going on so my seventh and final point which I have touched on already is it gives you alerts for when you're hypering and hypering this is really good um, especially for the hyper I think because when your bloods are maybe reaching a high level or you haven't balanced enough for your food it will tell you when your bloods are rising and you can then 
put more insulin through your body, which is a really good thing, and it prevents all of these spikes. Like two weeks into wearing my Guardian sensor, I can have my line pretty much straight as opposed to big, massive spikes just because I know what's happening, when it's happening with these alerts that get sent to my pump. These are all my favourite points about the Enlight sensor and the Libra sensor. Uh, let me know what sensors you have and if you're a type 1 yourself or just interested. I don't really know how to film these so I hope this has turned out alright but I hope you've enjoyed this video as well. If you have be sure to click subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!